Ever thought you had much in common with a mushroom? Well, buckle up for a surprising journey through the tree of life. The tree of life, as taught in schools, is more like a work in progress than a definitive guide. Remember those neat categories of life forms? They're getting a major update. Traditionally, we learned about the kingdoms of life, animals, plants, fungi, protists, and bacteria. But here's a twist. That classification is not as clear-cut as we once thought. In fact, the more we learn, the more the lines between these kingdoms blur. For instance, did you know that you share a closer ancestor with mushrooms than they do with plants? This revelation comes from the world of molecular biology decoding the secrets of DNA. DNA analysis has turned our understanding of the tree of life upside down. It challenges the idea of distinct kingdoms and pushes us towards a more fluid classification. Let's dive deeper into why scientists are reconsidering these life categories. First off, some background. All life on Earth is divided into three broad categories called domains. These domains are bacteria, archaea, and eukaryota. Bacteria and archaea consist of single-celled organisms without a nucleus. Eukaryota, on the other hand, includes organisms with cells that have a nucleus. This includes plants, animals, fungi, and even some organisms we hardly ever think about. But here's where it gets tricky. The relationships within eukaryota are not as straightforward as we thought. Scientists once grouped eukaryotes into just a few kingdoms. Now, they propose multiple supergroups. These supergroups are based on genetic similarities and differences. The big revelation, plants, animals, and fungi are more interrelated than previously believed. For example, animals and fungi share a common ancestor, making us distant cousins of mushrooms. This shakes up the old tree of life, where fungi were placed closer to plants. It's like finding out your family tree has some unexpected branches. So why can't scientists agree on the exact groupings within eukaryota? The answer lies in the complex evolutionary history of life on Earth. Life has been evolving and diversifying for billions of years, leading to a tangled web of relationships. New DNA sequencing technologies allow us to unravel this web. But with each new discovery, our understanding of these relationships shifts. This ongoing research is why the tree of life is always subject to change. One of the debated supergroups is called Opistaconta. Opistaconta includes both animals and fungi, highlighting our surprising connection. Another supergroup, Archiplastida, includes plants and some types of algae. These supergroups show how life forms we thought were unrelated are actually closely linked. So what does this mean for how we view ourselves and the natural world? It underscores the incredible diversity and interconnectivity of life on Earth. It also reminds us that classification is a tool created by humans to understand nature. Nature, however, doesn't always fit neatly into the boxes we create. This fluidity is not a flaw in our understanding, but rather a testament to life's complexity. Embracing this complexity can lead to amazing discoveries about our world and ourselves. For example, studying these relationships helps us understand disease and develop new medicines. It also enhances our understanding of evolution and how different life forms adapt. The changing tree of life also impacts how we approach conservation. Recognizing the interconnectedness of life can guide us in protecting ecosystems. It's a reminder that losing one species can have ripple effects across the tree of life. Now back to the mushroom connection. It's fascinating to think that humans, animals, and mushrooms are part of the same family tree. This connection challenges our perception of what it means to be closely related in the natural world. It also highlights the importance of fungi, which are often overlooked in biology. Fungi play crucial roles in ecosystems, from decomposing matter to forming symbiotic relationships. Just like us, they are vital to the balance of life on Earth. Delving into the tree of life also reveals other surprising relationships. For instance, 
Did you know some algae are more closely related to you than they are to other plants? This is because certain algae are part of the supergroup that includes plants and humans. The evolution of algae is crucial to understanding the origins of plants and even our own lineage. Such insights are reshaping how we teach biology and understand life's history. The tree of life is not just a chart in a textbook, it's a story of life's intricate dance. As we continue to study and understand this dance, the tree will keep evolving. This evolution reflects our growing knowledge and the incredible diversity of life. It's a narrative filled with twists, turns, and unexpected connections. Imagine explaining to your ancestors that they're related to mushrooms and algae. This dynamic view of life encourages curiosity and a deeper appreciation for nature. It also teaches us humility as we realize how much there is still to learn. The story of life is far more complex and interconnected than we ever imagined, and in this complexity lies the beauty of biology and the natural world. Every organism, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, plays a role in this story. As we unravel the mysteries of life, we find ourselves part of a much larger narrative. This narrative isn't just about where we came from, but also where we might be heading. The Tree of Life also helps us understand the impact of human activities on other species. Our actions can disrupt this delicate balance, affecting not just one species, but the entire tree. This understanding can guide us towards more sustainable and respectful ways of interacting with nature. As the tree of life evolves, so does our responsibility to protect and preserve the diversity of life. It's a continuous journey of discovery, one that each generation contributes to. The beauty of science is that it's always evolving, always open to new information and perspectives. In this ever-changing landscape, what we know today may be revised tomorrow. But that's the excitement of scientific exploration. The quest for understanding is never over. So the next time you see a mushroom, give it a nod of recognition. You're more similar than you think. And when you learn about the tree of life, remember it's more of a network than a simple hierarchy. This network is woven together by countless evolutionary threads, each telling a unique story. Each discovery adds a new color, a new dimension to this ever-expanding work of art. In the end, the tree of life is not just about categorizing organisms, it's about understanding our place in the universe. And as we continue to learn and grow, we'll find that the journey through the tree of life is as fascinating as the destination. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss other interesting videos like this one.